oftentimes you find the data you want, you get it into Excel, and then you run into this conundrum. And the conundrum is this. Your data has multiple rows or multiple um, different attributes or entries for each spatial unit or enumeration unit that you want to map. So what I'd like to do today is show you quickly how you can summarize or, or basically um, tweak the data so that there's only one entry per enumeration unit or, or place that you're mapping with a count value. Basically, for example, if you had a table, let's say you're mapping 30 different cities and you had a table with 500 rows in it and each row represented something happening in one of those 30 cities, you would want one row for each city with representing with a count number of how many times something occurred in that city. So to do that, let's open up some fun data here. Where the drones strike. So what I have here is a massive table of all the US drone strikes through I think April 2014, I forget offhand. And I have basically where they've been striking, and I believe this is mostly in Pakistan. And I also have the actual locations of where they've been striking, which are city or place names. And I have lat longs of where they've been striking. Now I could make a dot map basically showing where every strike has been. But for purposes of this, I, I just want to, sh I would like to show you guys basically how we could m combine the data so that each region of Pakistan and whatnot um, has a sum of for how many times it's been hit. So first thing first, this data is great, but I'm going to save this as drones muddled up. So I'm going to start deleting data. I'll notice I'm doing this so that I can keep the original. And I don't really care about structural damage or all of this stuff. Um, maximum injured, maximum... Well, let's hit delete on these rows. Let's see what this other data is. Maximum total reported killed. Okay. All right, this is minimum, and this is maximum. All right, let's say we're being cynical and we're going to go maximum. Or maybe that's just realist. So we will delete that row, and we will delete all these of these other rows. And then we'll retype this so that it's something GIS can read because it needs to be short and sweet and no spaces normally. Killed. I don't really care when the strikes occurred. We could do that different. Um, well, hmm, that might be kind of interesting too. We'll keep that. And we can get rid of the latitude and longitudes here. We could color these by date, but that's not the point. Tribal agency is like the province. All right, I think this is pretty good. So we've cleaned up this table, and now what we need to do is go up to here to data. Oops, sorry, data here on the ribbon and pivot table. And we're going to create a manual pivot table. Use this range, yep, all of the data, that looks good. Um, and we'll create a new worksheet, hit OK, and you'll get this. Pivot tables allow you to summarize different columns and break them down, and it's pretty cool. It allows you to really look at your data in more useful ways. So we would like a, uh, let's see, let's do this tribal agency, the rows, and then we're going to pull down killed. So the total amount of people killed in each province, like this. We could also pull down... Uh, number of strikes. So yeah, the number of times uh, a place has been st struck, etc., etc. And now we can copy put, and make a new worksheet. And then I, it's good to paste values, otherwise the formulas stick around. Uh, 
And there you go. Now, one other thing I want to I would like to show you is uh, here it is. It's summarizing the strikes, but that actually isn't useful data. I don't even know what that means. But let's say we wanted to figure out. So in fact, I'm going to delete this row right now. Let's say we wanted to figure out how many strikes there were. We wanted it to count up how many NWAs there were, which sounds weird because that reminds me of an obscure album. So we could do count and type the number one. And every one of these represents a strike. So we'll just double click this and the ones will go all the way down to the bottom. And then we're going to create a pivot table again. So again, you go to data. Pivot table, create manual pivot table, yada yada. Again, in our rows, we want the lists of provinces because we're going to join that to a shape file. So they're called tribal agencies, row labels, boom. And then we can put in count. So this is how many drone strikes there were, obviously in northern Waziristan or whatnot. That's a lot more. And we can also put in a column for the total number killed. So, on that happy note, this is how you make a table, and then you would save it in its own Excel sheet or file, and you could join it. Just make sure that you delete everything but the row headers, and sometimes this means having to copy and paste this stuff into a new table. So copy, paste, values, boom. And then you import this page.